Good morning, folks. Earth and Sun in focus today. We've got eyes on the incoming active regions bright here with ionized iron tracing the umbral magnetic fields. Let's come back out and look at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star. No solar flares, no filament eruptions, not really any plasma filaments to see at all. The bright areas have seen their sunspots decay as they turn in. The region still at the limb retains one good-looking umbra, but that is about it. Coming next to the solar wind, we're using ACE today and seeing what looks like a stable stream. It is stable, but with above average speed due to the lingering coronal hole. The stability of the stream has allowed the disruptions to be modest at worst. The coronal hole is departing now. Should see some relief in the stream soon. And on the left, we do see another coronal hole opening south of the bright active region. Coming next to Earth, we see the top quake of the last day. It was a mid-range tremor measuring 6.0 in Papua New Guinea. The big story today is the official word on the U.S. climate in April. Huge swaths of the country felt the coldest April ever recorded. It is notable that some small regions did break their record heat patterns for the month, too. The top statistic is that in terms of the daily minimum temperatures, it was the seventh coldest April that the United States has ever had. Speaking of records, this Chile hurricane force low we saw on May 2nd is officially the first named tropical system in this part of the world. The closest one on record is 2,000 miles to the west. The storm is still spinning offshore, but it is weakening quickly. And interestingly, a twin system is forming in the North Atlantic south of Greenland. It's heading to the northeast. Those shots are from GO-16. I also wanted to share this information, an animation put together using GPM and iMerg data. 30-minute rainfall runs over top of three-day soil moisture, all in an attempt to create a better global understanding of water cycles and movement around the world. Folks, pre-registration for Observing the Frontier 2019 begins today, Friday to Sunday, February 15th to 17th, President's Day weekend in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Electric Earth, Space Weather, and Cosmology in focus, and recall that Dunning and Robitaille have already confirmed. otf.cells.com, hope to see you out in the desert. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.50 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.